Hi, Mary. <laughs> I, I didn't see you there. You're hiding. Not from you, Mary. <laughs> Who from? Oh, nobody. I was up at Susan's party. Oh, that's where I'm going. Oh. Why'd you leave? No reason. You just gonna sit there? <laughs> For a while. Well, I'm going in. Okay. Oh, um, I'm not going in. I, I mean, I came out because I'll go in. What's wrong with you, John? I left the party because you weren't there. That's why I left the party. Why did you leave the party? Because I wasn't there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going in. I left the party because I felt like everything I wanted was outside the party. Out here. There's a breeze out here. And the moon. Look at the way the moon is. And I knew you were outside somewhere too. So I came out here and sat on the steps and I thought maybe you'd come and I'd be here. Outside the party, on the steps, in the moonlight. <laughs> and those other people, the ones at the party, wouldn't be here. But the night would be here, and you and me would be talking on the steps in the night, in the moonlight, and I'd be able to tell you tell how I feel. How you feel about what? I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I, I was looking out the window at the party, and I drank some wine, and I was looking out the window at the moon, and I thought of you, and I could feel my heart breaking. John. And I, 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 I felt that wine and the moon and your face all pushing in my heart. And so I left the party and I came out here. Your eyes are all shiny. I know. <laughs> I came out here looking for the moon. Mm -hmm. And I saw that street light shining down through the leaves of that tree. Hey, yeah, it does look pretty. It's beautiful. I didn't know a street light could be beautiful. I've always thought of them as being cold and blue, you know, but this one's yellow. And it shines down through the leaves of that tree, and the leaves are so green. Mary, I love you. Oh! <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> no, no, that, that's all right. Um, I can feel my heart breaking. You must think I'm stupid, but I can feel it breaking. <laughs> I wish I could stop talking. I can't. I can't. That's because this is outside the party, and it's night, and there's a moon up there, and a street light that's more beautiful than the sun. Oh, my God, the sidewalk's beautiful. <laughs> Those bits of shiny stuff in the concrete. Look how they're sparkling up the light. I love you, Mary. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> but don't cry over the sidewalk. You're usually so quiet. Okay. Okay. on your mouth. You were waiting for me out here? I wasn't even going to come tonight. I don't even like Susan so much. I was going to stay home and watch a movie, and what would you have done? I don't know. Too. 
Sometimes I let all the trains go by until the last minute, just hoping to see you. Really? Yeah. I take a look around for you, but I always get on my train. What would you have done if I hadn't come? I don't know. Walked around? I, I walk around a lot. <laughs> Walked around where? I walk around your block a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I run into you. You mean that was planned? Oh, wow, I, I always thought you were coming from somewhere. I love you, Mary. I can't believe I'm saying it to you out loud. I love you. Kiss me again. I've been in love with you for a long time. How long? Months. <laughs> you remember that big snowball fight? In the park. Yeah. That's when it was. That's when I fell in love with you. You were wearing a red coat. That coat? I've had that coat for ages and ages. I've had it since the sixth grade. Really? I have really special feelings for that coat. I feel like it's part of me. Like it stands for something. My childhood or something like that. You look nice in that coat. I feel like I sense something about it. The coat. It's special to me too. It's so nice to be able to talk to you like this. Yeah, this is nice. That's funny how you felt that about my coat. The red one. No one really knows how I feel about that coat. I think I do, Mary. Do you? That coat is like all the good things about being a kid. It's, it's like still having all the good kid things and having the grown-up things, too. It's like being safe in an adventure. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like sometimes, like in a movie, the hero's doing all this stuff and it's really dangerous, but you know just because of the kind of movie it is that but he's not going to get hurt. Being in the red coat is like that. It's like being safe in an adventure. And, and, and that's the way you were in the snowball fight. It was like you knew that nothing could go wrong. That's it. That's it. That's how it feels. You do understand. It sounds silly. I've always wanted someone to understand some things. And that was one of them, the red coat. I do understand. I, I do. I don't know. I don't know about tomorrow, but right this minute, I love you. Oh, Mary. Kiss me, John, please. You're crying. I didn't know. I didn't know that two people could understand some things, share some things. It must be terrible not to. What? To be able to share things. It is! It is! But don't you remember? Only a few minutes ago we were alone. And now I feel like I could tell you anything. Isn't that crazy? Do you want to go for a walk? No. <laughs> no. Let's stay right here. Between the street light and the moon. Under the tree. Tell me that you love me. I love you. I love you too. You're good looking. Do you know that? <laughs> does your mother tell you that? Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> your eyes are shining. I know. I can feel them shining. 